Hello and welcome back to Flannel Review Fridays. This is my weekly series where I dive into my flannel collection and try to review both my pieces and the ones that my viewers send in to me. If you wish for me to review your flannel in a future episode, please send your flannel uh, to flannel.review.fridays at gmail.com. Uh, this week I come to you from a different location. I'm actually staying with my brother in his apartment. I'm out in his backyard because it's nice out. I got a different flannel on me right now because it's a bit chilly. I had a cup of coffee. I'm sorry if the video is a bit shaky. Um, this week we are looking at the Core Life model. It is one of my favorite models in my collection. Um, first off, right off the bat, you notice the color. Um, it is yellow and black and it has kind of like this middle, middle uh, mix of the two. Um, this is one of my favorite flannels because it goes well with almost anything. I mentioned last week that I don't really like yellow shirts, but um, this flannel I think actually would go really well with a yellow shirt if that's what you so desire. Um, some other great things about it are the pocket. It doesn't have one of those little buttons that some flannels do. Um, there's very little restriction there. Uh, this model is pretty special to me. It's one of the first ones I had in my collection. Um, yeah, let's see what it looks like on a person. This is what the flannel looks like on a body. Um, has a few features that I really like that I want in most of my flannels. Maybe if it's more springtime or dead of the winter, these are less compatible. But um, for the time of the season it is right now, it's exactly what I want. So it's about 48 degrees out today, maybe a little bit chillier, but um, these sleeves feel great in this temperature. It's got the exact right kind of material that I want in a flannel. It makes it so uh, it's more flexible. It lasts me in most seasons. I can start wearing this one mid-September to maybe even mid-January, and then I can go start wearing it again late February into early May. It definitely lends itself to most seasons of the, of the year. Um, I also like that it doesn't have too much overhang. I don't want to be looking like I'm wearing a cape. I want it to be clear that I'm wearing a flannel. Um, it has sleeves that roll up. Last week's model, um, even though I gave it a 3.5, definitely has better sleeve roll up. But this one, I like that I can unbutton, get a little bit of a roll on, get it going, unroll the sleeve. Um, it takes a little bit more effort, a little bit more concentration, but um, in the end, actually, I think it's got the right tensile strength to hold up on my arm in a way that last week's model couldn't. Although similarly to last week's model, um, this one, you can dress up, you can dress down. Uh, it lends itself to pretty much any outfit. I definitely think this one's in my regular flannel rotation more than just about any other flannel. Um, I would probably give this one a 4.5 out of 5. Um, it, besides a little bit of difficulty in rolling up the sleeves and not maybe being a year-round flannel, there's very few of those, but those models I definitely appreciate the most. Um, this one you really can't go wrong with. Uh, I was actually submitted two flannels this week to uh, review. Um, the first one comes from my good friend Jillian. Um, I want to review my the submitted flannels a little bit differently, which will be on a scale of, I don't think either of us would wear them. I can understand why you would wear it, but I wouldn't wear it. I, I would wear it, but I don't know why you would wear it. Or I think we can both wear it. I think the flannel Jillian submitted, it'll be either one of these two corners. I definitely could see myself wearing. I'm very appreciative of the color scheme it's got going on. It's very warm, it's very fall. Um, I don't think I could wear it with the shirt I'm wearing right now. It's, this is more of a cool tone shirt. And I think actually any graphic design you have <laughs> on your shirt wouldn't go with that flannel. But I definitely, I think I think I would I would wear it and I'm, I think it, it works well on you. Um, the other one was submitted uh, without it on the wear, but it was from viewer Sam Berman. Um, Sam, I really like this flannel. Uh, don't think it's for me. I think it'd look good on you. I don't really like the accent color. Um, I want 
I don't want too flashy of flannel. I, don't, I try to stick to uh, like a two tone, like yellow, black. But um, I, I think this would look good on you, and I, I'm excited to maybe see you in it someday. Uh, but yeah, I, I think I think that's one that I, I maybe wouldn't go for, but I, I think you should definitely continue wearing. All right, um, that's it for this week. I hope you guys enjoyed uh, more flannel content. Um, let me know if there's any ideas you have for the channel, any directions you want me to go. Maybe maybe we could just slip in a Tuesday series if if it's so desired. But um, yeah, remember to rate and subscribe and uh, keep wearing flannels.